Okay. No, you got it. Okay. <laughs> you let Brandon go first. You're not. That's why I'm scared of Brandon. 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 You better ask your questions for Brandon. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, obviously, Gabby kind of took off there in the second quarter. What's her importance, knowing you know you lost Taja and she's kind of running the show by herself now? Yeah, well, Gabby's natural position was point guard, so as a freshman, she played the point for us and backed up Taj, and sometimes they played at the same time. And then, obviously, last year to get them both on the floor, we moved her to the two. So her coming back to the point is really just her natural position. I think the biggest thing was um, making sure we were able to still get her shots at the point because it's a lot easier when she was playing off the ball. And we worked on that a lot this summer, and she's handled it well. And you know, she's a junior now, so she understands and accepts the responsibility that comes with number one, being a point guard, but also her production and how important it is for us to be successful. We keep going, Brent. Well, Maya, was, I mean, a uh, big game. She had the big three there at the end of the third quarter. Uh, yeah. You know, what, what's her importance going to be this year? Maya is um, finally looking like what we thought she was going to be. You know, she is someone who can score at all three levels. She's a really good guard. We play her at the four some. And, you know, she really, really had a good summer. She's led us in scoring in all of our close scrimmages and when we, when we were in Italy. Um, and can just score in a lot of different ways. And so we can do a lot of different things with her. But, you know, what I keep telling her is, you know, it, it's going to feel different for you this year. Last year, you, I mean, in your freshman year, you played a little bit. You played spot minutes, but you were going to be a major contributor. And that responsibility feels different than what I always tell them, riding in the car versus driving the car. And, you know, we put her in a lot of uncomfortable situations because we know that we're going to have to count on her day in and day out, and she's so far, you know, handled that well. Uh, and then following up on that, like, have you have you noticed anything different with her personality, with her demeanor about things? But I remember last year talking to her, and she, and she struggled at the beginning, felt down about herself. Have you noticed anything different about her demeanor coming to this year? You know, not on the floor. Obviously, Maya has high expectations for herself, and I know she's felt like she's underachieved since she's been here. Sometimes it takes people longer than others, but Maya shows up the same way every day, which is something that we appreciate. We never have to wonder what type of mood she's in, what she's going to give us. She's got a great personality that's infectious, and every time you see her, she's got a smile on her face. So Maya rarely has bad days, which is why, you know, it's starting to pay off for her, what she's able to do. And then... Knowing you and knowing how this team operates, the defensive performance, I can imagine, is one that, that you're not too terribly pleased with. Mm -hmm. So what were your thoughts on that? Where do you think are some areas for improvement? I think you said it very well. I'm not very pleased at all how we defended. Now, I'll say this. Kennesaw State's a good team. They returned all five starters. Um, three kids on their roster were <coughs> freshmen of the year, respectively, <coughs> when they were freshmen. So they're talented. They're experienced. We knew they were going to come in. And, give us a good game. Pool's really good. Um, but we just did some things defensively that we just cannot do. So there's a lot to correct on that end. We can't get driven from behind the post. We can't let them catch it that easily on the block. Um, their guards were comfortable all night long, and so we've got to do a better job of making them uncomfortable. And then just one and done. We've always talked about um, giving them one shot at it and then being able to run so we can play in transition. The other thing, I mean, you've got me started now. I mean, we fouled too much. We gave up about four or five and ones. That cannot happen. We've got to stop putting people on the free throw line and giving them points there. So there's a lot on the defensive end. As happy as I am as how we played offensively, mm -hmm. I am as disappointed in our defense. Yeah, I was walking around. I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Still, uh, still nursing Hugh back kind of? Uh... Yeah, well, you know, she honestly, last Sunday was her first time playing. We, we had a close scrimmage last Sunday, and that was her first action. Um, so we're still trying to get her in there. Um, and once she gets back healthy, obviously, she can affect the game on both ends of the floor, which, which she did see tonight is her shot has gotten a lot better, and she's now be becoming a threat from the three-point line. Um, and defensively, she can do some things, too, that uh, some of our other guards just can't do. And then with uh, J J Javin and J Jordan, did you like anything you saw there? And I, I know at times it, it looked like there were some nerves, some – so how do you talk to them and kind of push them over that hump? Yeah, it's just they're going to have to figure it out. You know, our, our non-conference schedule doesn't allow for us to kind of get our feet wet. Like we're going to get thrown right into the fire. They played like freshmen. You know, they played like freshmen, and they're going to have to grow up really quickly. We're, we're counting on them. We need them. Um, and they're going to have to – and, they, you know, Jordan works really, really hard in practice. She's got to continue to listen and have open ears, which is what she's done. And what we've talked to Javin about since she's been here is her pace. Her pace has got to pick up. Javin is a really skilled player, and 
we need her offensively, but she's got to play both ends of the floor, and she's got her pace has got to change in order to help us. Does your team put more of an emphasis on spacing the floor and using the outside shot in this game? Well, I think we're just overall able to do that better than we have in the past. Caitlin is shooting the ball really well. Maya shoots the ball. Gabby. So our starting three, you've got to guard them, which opens up our Jenna. Things for Jenna opens up things for Steph and in the inside. So this year, you kind of kind of have to pick your poison. Whereas last year, you know, we had one shooter on the floor, and so they kind of dared us to shoot the basketball. And so with our starting guards, if you don't guard any one of them, they're not down three point shooters, which again is going to allow us to play one on one inside more. So I, I won't say it's something for this game. Hopefully that's what you see from us every time we play. And then as a coaching staff, does that give give you all some relief that you're knowing that you're able to have that capability? Because that, looking back at the stats, it was the first time with double digit three since A&M in 2017-18. So yeah, it it um it is very difficult when the defense sags and you have to try to manufacture plays every time down the floor or get people in the exact right spot so that there's not any help. Um, and there's going to be times where you put people in certain positions to isolate, but it's, it's really refreshing to be able to come out and just, you know, play basketball. And like I said, we've got people coming off the bench now that are shooting the ball better as well. Jenna can space you from three. So it just opens thing up, things up inside more and allows us to have more of the floor to play with. Now, one what, or two more. Um, now what impact does Q Morrison have whenever she takes the floor off? Yeah, she's, she's explosive. She's a guard that um, is experienced. She started every game as a freshman. Obviously was hurt last year and only played half of the season. So she comes in with experience. She's very competitive. She plays with a chip on her shoulder. And it can, can be a defensive stopper, you know, when she gets back to being her best. And her offensive game continues to ex improve. So she's someone who is always very explosive in transition. So we still think she can do that. But now, as you saw tonight, she's someone who's, got, who's very confident with, you know, catch and shoot three. Is foul drawn a new stat? Because yeah, it's a whole new stat. Well, I mean, Gabby had zero fouls, but she drew ten fouls. What does that mean exactly? It means that she they fouled her ten times. Like I she, get that, but I mean, what does that mean as far as her drawing that many? Is she just attacks the basket? Oh yeah, or? absolutely. Okay, yeah. that's my question. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Short answer. Yeah, thanks. Guys. All right, thank you guys.